Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Tom Ogami, and today we are back with another statue tutorial. Today we are doing Princess Leia from Star Wars, mainly from the Tatooine uh, Sand World. So this is a version where she's wearing the uh, white robes, and then she has like the buns of hair at the side. So this is also the younger version of her, compared to the older version in the new Force Awakens film. So if you do want the older version where she's wearing slightly different clothes, then let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see what I can get sorted. Uh, but this one's mainly designed to match with the Luke Skywalker we did from a uh, while back, and add to that collection. But again, I can do Force Awakens uh, material, so if you do want me to, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. But anyways, hopefully you do enjoy. One thing to note is this statue does look a hell of a lot better using mushroom blocks. Um, but as you may be aware, in the recent update on Xbox, that's no longer available. So I have had to resort to white stained clay instead. But if you do have access to mushroom, then I definitely suggest to use that instead because this is a hell of a lot better. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you do enjoy. Leave a like if you do and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay guys, so first off we're going to list off the blocks you'll need. Then we'll get straight on into building the statue. So you'll need cyan stained clay, stone, light grey wool, white wool, grey wool, white stained clay, black wool, pink stained clay, a map if you want to make your life easier, uh, oak log, spruce log, spruce plank, nether brick, and also brown carpet just to uh, add some details onto the top of the hair. So anyways, what we're going to start off by doing is the front of the legs. So the legs essentially are 12 by 8, 12 tall, 8 wide. You'll know all this if you're experienced with my videos. Um, but just in case you're not, then uh, definitely try and follow along with the dimensions because it's a very essential part of the statue. So what we're going to do for the first row is build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cyan stained clay in a row like so. On top of that, we're going to place 8 stone. So that's 8 stone. And this is the second layer. So right now it should be 2 tall, 8 wide. The next layer, what we're going to do is we're going to place 1 white wall, 1 stone, 1 light grey, 2 white, 1 light grey, stone, light grey. Now essentially what this is doing is building up to the point where we can start like free building now and uh, start making the pattern on her dress. Because it is a white robe. Um, but I thought rather than just going with a white robe, I would try and make it more interesting. And I've tried to uh, keep it as realistic as possible. If I can show you the skin, if I have it installed on here, um, as realistic as possible and as similar as possible to the original skin, which is this one right here. So uh, as you can see, it's got all these like grey lines on it. I've tried to replicate that and I think I've done a relatively good job of it. Um, but definitely let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this build. Okay, so what we're going to do, on top of this stone on either side, we're going to build up three. So that's one, two, three, and one, two, three. We're then going to go in diagonal on each side. So bringing it inwards towards each other, and go up two on each one. We're then going to link them by going up diagonal and placing two, and on top of that two more to make a two by two square of stone. Now, essentially, what we're going to do is highlight that with light grey. So on the inside, we're going to build up one, two, three. One, two, three, using the light grey. And on this part, we're going to place three on either side as well, and it will link up together like so. Then what we do is we highlight it on the outer sides of the stone. So on this part, we don't, but on this part, we place one, two, three. Same with this side, one, two, three. And then on this one, we just cap around it like so. And once you've done that, it will look something like this, and it should be 12 tall. Now, way I can prove to you it's tall tool, this is where a map comes in handy. The floor is Y5, as you can see. The top of here will be Y17, as you can tell. A bit of simple maths, that is 12 blocks tall, and uh, it's 8 blocks wide. But, what that means is we have all this empty space here, and that's what we're going to work on filling in now. So, one thing I have noticed that I made a mistake on is this one is white, not light grey. Uh, just fix that before we go any further, just to avoid any confusion later down the line. Now what we're going to do, on the left side we're going to build up 7 using white wool on top of this one. So the first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because we included the first one. So it's 8 in total. If you've already got this one here, it's building up 7 on top. On top of that we're going to place 2 light grey, and we do the exact same for this side. So we build up 1, 2, 3, whoops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and on top of that, 2 light grey, like so. 
Okay, so what that leaves us is with a section there and two sections, one on each side. This lower section here is white wool, and you probably guessed it, but a section here is also three white wool on either side. And once you've done that, that is a 12 by 8 rectangle. It should be looking something like this, as you can see. Um, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so, and uh, if you do, it makes your life a lot easier, so I definitely suggest you do. Um, but just to give you some general measurements, in case you have got a bit lost on the way, this whole section is 12 tall, 8 wide, as I've mentioned. This white wall here is 8, this stone is 4, 3, 2, and then light grey is 4, 3, 1, and then 3, I guess, there. So uh, hopefully just with their measurements, you'll be able to figure it out. As I said, measurements are key, um, so definitely bear that in mind when you're building. Um, but yeah, now we can move on to the body, which is equally as detailed. Okay, so now the legs are done, we can move on to the body, as I previously said. Um, so what we can do is on the left side, right on this light grey wall here, we're going to place one white wall, and we're going to do the exact same on the right side. Now the reason why we're doing this is to essentially mark out where the body begins, and with this information we can go one, two, three, four to the left using white stained clay, and also from this one, one, two, three, four to the right, again using white stained clay. And the reason why we're doing this is just to mark out where the hands begin or where the arms begin, um, and it means we don't have to come back later on in the video and uh, count upwards to find out where the arms begin. Okay, so anyways, now that's done, we can forget about the arms, don't worry for them for now. Um, we're going to work on the body, and then we'll come back to doing the arms afterwards. So what we're going to do on the body, on the first block here, white wall, Next that we're going to place one light grey, one stone, two white wool, one stone, one light grey. Now the second row of the body is the exact same, so one white wool, light grey, stone, two white wool, stone, light grey, white wool. Perfect. So currently it's 14 blocks tall. The 15th row, or the third row of the body, is simply 8 stone. So that kind of like caps it all off. And this is where we build the belt. The belt that like keeps the roads together. So what we're going to do is for the next layer it goes grey wool, cyan, grey wool, cyan, grey wool, cyan, grey wool, cyan. Um, so what we're going to do again is just alternate that in a pattern like so. Um, and that's eight wide. So in total there should be four of each colour. The row on top of that is eight stone. So again it's kind of like capping off the belt. And this is where we can start free building again. So we're not working with layers anymore. This time we're working with uh, rows and columns. Okay, so on the left side, what we're going to do, we're going to build up six using white wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. On the right side, we're going to do the exact same. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next to that, so we're working our way inwards, we're going to place five light grey. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And again on this side, one, two, three, four, five. V next to that is five stone. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that leaves us with two columns in the middle. Or should I say, uh, yeah, two columns. Um, so in that, we're going to place one, two, three, four, light grey. And next to that, one, two, three, four, white wall. So as you can see, it kind of makes like a uh, cutout. And what we're going to do is uh, start making it more apparent so we can start forming a neckline. So what we're going to do, we have these stone pillars here. On the left side, we're going to go up diagonal twice. And on the right side from this one, we're going to go up diagonal twice again to the right. That's kind of like capping it off and making it more of like a V or a U shape. Next, what we're going to do is cap it off again. So in these middle two blocks, we're going to place two grey. And then go up diagonal to the left twice, up diagonal to the right twice. And slowly but surely we're making the gap smaller. And for the final time we're going to cap it off again. So we're going to place two white wool, one up to the left, one up to the right. And in the remaining two blocks we're going to place two white stained clay. And that's going to represent the neck. So it should look like this. Now I'm going to get rid of my arm and cover up what the legs uh, should look like just so you don't get confused. So this is kind of like the cut off point for where the body starts and the legs end. So as you can see from that bottom left corner where the white wall is to the top right where the stone is, that is 12 by 8. And I can prove that to you right now um, by grabbing my handy dandy map. As you can see, it says Y29, the floor is Y5, so that is 24 tall, 12 by 8 for the body, 12 by 8 for the legs. And that's what it looks like in total if you want to get an overall screenshot or just the body, that is the body. 
Okay, so with that now done, we can move on to the arms. So the arms, pretty easy. Um, we can start on the left one first. So the arms are 12 by 4, each layer being 4 wide, and then 12 layers. The first layer and the first third layer, uh, first three layers, should I say, not third, uh, first two third layers are white stained clay. So four white stained clay on each row, and then the next layer is four light grey. Okay, so then what we're going to do on the right side here, we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you do it correctly, it will come in line with this stone here or the top of the body. Then what we're going to do on the second to right layer, we're going to place two white, on top of that two light grey, and we're going to go up diagonal to the left, like so. We're going to go up twice, and on top of that we're going to go up diagonal to the left once more, and place our final light grey. Now all the other gaps we're just going to fill in with white wool, so we just fill it all in, until we get up to the same level as the top of the body, which in this case, our case is Y29, in your case that may vary depending on what world you're playing on if you're on pc it should be y28 as far as i'm aware if you're on super flat if you're on xbox or ps3 or ps4 whatever console you're on um it should be y5 and then the top should be y29 but again check your map it should be 24 blocks taller than the floor okay so the right arm is the exact same it's just mirrored it's as simple as that so we got the first layer which is two uh white stained clay second layer white stained clay and third layer white stained clay and on top of that a row of for light grey. We're then on the left side, so side closest to the body, going to build up 8 using light grey, and uh, this is where we start adding the pattern. And so the second to left layer, we're going to place 2 white wool, on top of that 2 light grey, and then we're going to go up diagonal and up twice, and then up diagonal to the right once more, and that's like the top corner, and then yet again we fill it all the gaps in with white wool, and once you've done that, you are left with a 12 by 4 rectangle, which looks like this, and that represents the arm. Okay, so that is what it looks like so far. Let me get rid of my arm real quick. We can have a quick rest break and uh, give you guys some opportunities to catch up. So this is the legs, which is 12 by 8. Again, feel free to pause whenever you need to do so. And then we've got the body, 12 by 8, and each arm, 12 by 4. Now again, as I've mentioned in previous tutorials, if you want to give like the vibe that she's like gripping, uh, like a pistol or a lightsaber, or whatever you want her to be holding, you can just simply get a uh, grey, a light grey stained clay, and you can plop one right there, and right there, and it looks like she's holding an item. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm not going to do that, because last time I added an item, everyone got really, really upset that I made the lightsaber the wrong colour. Um, and I know Princess Leia does have like a little mini blaster, um, so I don't want to mess that up and you guys get angry. So if you do want to add something, feel free to add it yourself and uh, explore some creativity there. Alrighty, so with that said and done, with that little rant over, um, I apologise for that by the way, um, what we're going to do is start making this statue 3D. So we're going to start working on the sides. So we come to the bottom left corner, again make sure this is the front. We come to the bottom left corner, extend it backwards 1, 2, 3 using cyan stained clay. We do the exact same on this side, 1, 2, 3. Now the sides are 12 by 4, but as you can see we've already got one layer done, so we're only placing three blocks on each layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to do it layer by layer, um, not layer by layer, row by row, column by column, whatever you want to call it, I forgot the technical. Um, so the first row, or first column should I say, is one stone, two light grey, seven white, and one light grey. Again, to repeat that, it is one cyan, one stone, two light grey, seven white, one light grey. The second column is one cyan, two stone, three light grey, and then one, two, three, four, five, six white wool. Again, that is one cyan, two stone, three light grey, and six white wool. And the final row, seeing as, or final column, uh, seeing as we've already done this one, is one cyan, one stone, one white wool, and then we got three stone, four light grey, and then two white wool. If you've done it correctly, you'll notice that that light grey, like a little stripe across the middle, all lines up correctly and looks nice and neat like it does. And that is a 12 by 4 rectangle, again, just to uh, double check we're on the right page. 
Okay, so coming around to the right side is the exact same. First row, or first column, is one cyan, one stone. Then we got one white wall, three stone, four light grey, and again, it will link up diagonally with this light grey here, and then two white wall. The next column is one stone, two stone, three light grey, and then the rest is white wall, so just build it up. And then the final column is one cyan, one stone, two light grey, seven white wall, and then the final block is one light grey. And once you've done that, it will look like this. And again, that is the right side of the leg. So with that said and done, again, right side, left side, just the exact same but mirrored. I'll give you guys the opportunity to pause and now we can move on to the arms. So working on the bottom and the sides of the arms. So for the arms, what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to come around to the back of the statue. So here, and when we have this white stained clay, the bottom row, we're going to extend it backwards. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way across. If you've done it correctly, you can come below and you'll see it's a four by four square like so. And we'll do the exact same on this side. So one, two, three backwards on each row. And uh, it will be a four by four that looks like this. Okay, so on that base, we're going to come to the left arm. We're going to come to the side, and this is where we're going to start working our way up. So this time, we are going to do it layer by layer because it's easier. So the first three layers is just solid white stained clay. Next one is three light grey. And again, this is four wide, but we've already placed one, so we're only placing three blocks on each row. The next layer is three white wool. Then we have two white wool, one light grey. Next one is one white wall, one light grey, one white wall, and we do that twice more. So it's three layers of white wall, light grey, white wall. The next layer is one light grey, two white wall, and again we do that again. And the final layer is one stone and two white wall. So once you've done that we have got three layers of white stained clay, a layer of light grey, and then we've got the little pattern like this, which is one light grey, go up diagonal, up twice, up diagonal, up one, and then one stone just to uh, cap it off. And then again, 12 by 4 and the other side is the exact same, but uh, just in case you do want me to, I'm going to walk you guys through it anyways. Okay, so moving around to the right side of the arm, what we're going to do, first two layers, or first three layers should I say, is solid white stained clay. We've got three light grey. Next row is three white wool. Then we got one light grey, two white. Next row is one white, one light grey, one white. Then we have again the same twice more. So that's three in total. Then the next one is two white, one light grey, and then the same again. And then the final row is two white wool and one stone. That's what it should look like. Again, you know the uh, routine, the drill. If you need to pause, then feel free to do so. Okay, so that is the sides of the statue done. We've got something looking nice. It's starting to look 3D, starting to look like more interesting. But if we come around to the backside of the statue, you'll notice there is a big old like gap, a big old hole, um, which we need to fill up and uh, finish. Otherwise, it's going to look really, really weird. So what we're going to do, we're going to work on the back of the legs first. Again, we're going to work our way up and then we'll move on to the head afterwards. Um, but for now, we're going to come back down to here where we've got the bottom of the feet. We've got one cyan either side. So what we're going to be doing for each row, again, each row is still eight wide. But because we've got one block either side, we're only placing six blocks on each row rather than your usual eight. So the first layer is six cyan. Second layer is six stone. Next one is two stone, two cyan, two stone. Next one is two stone, two cyan, uh, not two cyan, two light grey, two stone. Apologies if I said cyan before, I can't quite remember. It is light grey. Next one is one light grey, one stone, two light grey, stone, light grey. And we do that twice more. So light grey, stone, light grey, light grey, stone, light grey. And again, light grey, stone, 
two light grey, one stone, one light grey. So it's three layers of the exact same. The next layer is one white, four light grey, one white. The next one is two white, two light grey, two white. The next one is one white, four light grey, one white. The next one is one light grey, one stone, two light grey, stone, light grey. And the last but not least layer of the legs is six stone. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. That is a 12 by 8 rectangle, 12 tall, 8 wide, as you probably imagined. And uh, that is the back of the legs for you. So if you want to pause, you are more welcome to do so. Again, I do recommend you pause, catch up before moving on because it does make your life a lot easier in the long run rather than getting to the end of the tutorial. Finding out things haven't gone quite to plan and having to go back and change things. There's nothing worse than that, trust me. I would just take your time now and uh, save yourself in the long run. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the back of the arms. Now the reason why I'm choosing to do that is because then we can just link side to side rather than having to build freely upwards. Um, so in this case it will be easier to just do the arms. So the first one on the left side or the back of the right arm, we're going to start off here. And the first three layers again is white stained clay. We've already got the first one so we're just building two. And as I said before, we're only placing three blocks because there's one at the side already. So the first row is light grey so I say first row of the actual sleeve we've got three rows of white stained clay then we've got the sleeve then on the right side here we're going to build up one two three four five six seven eight so eight light grey or nine if you're including this block here and then the rest of it is just solid white wall so that's very very easy the only other detail is on this part here but we've already placed that so there's no need to worry about it on the right side, it's the exact same. So the first three layers is white stained clay. The fourth layer is light grey wool. And then on the left side here, we're going to build up eight using the light grey wool. And the rest is white wool. Very, very simple and uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. So again, each arm being 12 by 4. So what it should be looking like. Now we can get on to the slightly harder part, which is the back of the body. So we're going to come down to this light grey wall here and we're going to start on the left side and do everything layer by layer. So the first layer is one stone, six light grey, one stone. Next layer is eight white wall. The third layer is eight light grey. Then we've got our belt, so the same as the front, so it goes grey, cyan, grey, cyan, grey, cyan, grey, cyan. So I'll just place the cyan's in. There you go. The next layer is 8 stone. And then what we do is we go up twice on the left and up twice on the right using our stone. The next layer is the 6 blocks in the middle. We're going to place 6 white wool. And then on top of that we're going to place 2 white wool, 2 stone, 2 white wool. From this stone we're going to go up diagonal to the left and to the right. And then we're going to go up diagonal inwards and link together like so. In the two blocks in the middle, we're going to place two grey. And then we're going to go up diagonal to the left and to the right. And up one on either one. We're then going to go up diagonal to the left and right again twice. And it will link up to the top of the light grey of the arm, as I said. Um, as you can see, it links up to the arms, which is why we built the arms first. Because it makes it easier to visualise and uh, fill it in. Okay, so now all we need to do is add the uh, stone highlights to this grey wall here, and then we can just fill in the rest with white wall. So we come to this top left corner here, we place one under. This one here, we place one under as well. On this one, we place one up. We don't place one on top of this one, because that's at the same height as the top of the body. But we do place one on top of that one, that one, that one. And again, on this side, we go under one and both ones like that. So hopefully you get what I mean. We're basically just capping these ones off with stone. We don't place anything here because that is white wool. So we place white wool here. And same with this gap here. I know that may be confusing for some of you guys. So I'm going to like back up in a second show you what I've done. And uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory as you can see. So essentially we built the grey like wire frame, out frame. And we surrounded it by stone. And then eventually white wool. 
Okay, so that is the back of the body. So that is a 12 by 8 and again it links up to the back of the arms being a 12 by 4. So if you want to pause here, this is probably the last opportunity to do so before we move on to the head. And before we do move on to the head, that reminds me, all we do for the shoulders is just fill it in with solid white wool. So just fill this whole gap in with solid white wool. And uh, once you've done that, that is the body complete and we can move on to the head. So uh, I'm going to pause the video right here. Make sure everything's going all good in terms of audio, in terms of visuals, in terms of actual like explanation, how well I'm doing myself. And we're going to resume and uh, do the head and finish this tutorial up. So again, thank you for watching so far. Hopefully you're enjoying and uh, hopefully you've got something that looks like this in front of you, a 24 tall 16 wide statue. Um, and if not, go back in the video, see where things haven't gone too well. But yeah, anyways, I will see you in a second. Okay guys, so I've checked everything, everything is going great, and I've grabbed the uh, blocks into my hotbar which I need for this uh, part of the tutorial. So for this part you will need white stained clay, pink stained clay, oak wood, spruce wood, spruce planks, nether brick, black wool and brown carpet. So all these blocks here you don't need anymore, in fact you do need white wool as well, that's my bad, I should probably grab that. Um, that's a great start. But anyways, what we're going to do, make sure at the front of the statue, so you can figure this out simply by looking for the neck. So this has got the neck, that means it's the front of the statue, very very simple. So what we're going to do is go to the far left side on this light grey uh, light grey wool, should I say, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So on this stone, which is the fifth block, we're going to place a white stained clay, bring it two forwards. We're going to do the exact same on the right side. Go to here, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth block being this stone, white stained clay, two forwards. And if you've done it correctly, you'll link them together. There'll be a six block gap in between. And once you've done that, filled it in, it'll be a eight by two overhang of the front like so. Okay. So then what we're going to do is come around to the side and we're going to extend it backwards. One, two, three, four, five on either side. One, two, three, four, five. And then link them together again. And that will give you, again, another 8x2 overhang. And if you look from it from the upper point of view, it will be a 8x8 eight eight square, which looks like this. And uh, that's kind of like the template for the head. So we've got the front, left side, right side, and the back side of the head. So, of course, we're going to start on the front side of the head, the face. So, what we're going to do, the first layer is 8 white stained clay. We've already done that. The second layer is 3 white stained clay. 2 pink stained clay, 3 white stained clay. The third layer is 8 white stained clay. The fourth layer is 1 black wool. This is her eyebrow. 1 white wool, her eye. 1 never brick. 2 white stained clay. And then we're going to repeat the other, what we did on this side, but mirrored. So never brick, white wool, black wool. Okay, so the next row is one white stained clay, two black wool, two white stained clay, two black wool, and one white stained clay. The next row is eight white stained clay. And then the final two rows is just solid spruce logs. So two layers of spruce logs. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. Now it looks awfully weird, and I'll show you in a second how we can make it look a lot better. But right now, the whole point is that it's an eight by eight square, two layers of the hair and six layers of the face. And uh, with this, we can then move on and start adding some 3D effects and making it look nice and cool. Alrighty, so for these 3D effects that I'm talking about, the left side, what we're going to do is come to this part where the hairline starts. We're going to come down one block to this block here, and we're going to place a spruce log, so 3D, on top of what we've already built, but make sure it's facing upwards. We don't want it sideways like this, sideways like that. We just want it facing upwards, so what you'll have to do is place a block underneath and then place it on top. We're then going to go up one, to the right one, up one, to the right one. This is all with spruce logs. And we're going to mirror this on the other side. So we come to this block here, place one, go up one. So we punch out one out. That's just like a placer block. So it starts here, up diagonal from the eyebrow. We go up one to left one, up one to left one. So it gives us two shapes that look like this. Now what we're going to do is get our spruce planks. And on the left side, we're going to place one there, two in the middle, and one on the right. Final step, what we're going to do is get our oak logs. And underneath this spruce log here and here, 
place an oak log. And then on top of these two spruce logs at the top, place two oak. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. Now that still looks awfully weird, and you'll see later on in the video how we're going to combat that. Um, and it's mainly with like the sides of the head that will make it look a lot, lot better. But what you can do at this point in time, and you'll notice once you come over to the top side of the statue, we've got these two oak logs, and when you can place the brown carpet on top of them um, to prevent you getting like the upward texture of the log, as you can see here. Um, we're not going to worry about this one here for now because we'll come back to that later on. But for the oak logs, you can just put brown carpet on top and it makes it look a lot, lot nicer. Okay, so anyways, that is the front of the face so far. So we're going to move around to the left side of the head. Now this is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is we've got this first row here, or first column, which consists of three white stained clay and one black wool, two white stained clay and then two spruce logs. We've also got this overhang here, but we don't need to worry about that. Now for the next column, so this second one in, we're going to pl uh, place one, two, three, white stained clay, one spruce log, one spruce plank, and then two spruce logs. We're then, from this spruce plank here, going to go up diagonal, and then go one, two, three, four to the left, so it's five in total, and then go up diagonal once more. We're going to leave a one block gap here and place one spruce plank right there. And then the rest of this, apart from one block of white stained clay right there on the third row, so we place one there, is solid spruce logs. So we're just filling it in layer by layer. The first layer is five from left to right. Six, six, seven, six, one. And then we got the two over here. And then the top row is one and then five but what we're going to do for the top row because of, again we don't want this like upwards log we're going to make all these ones sideways so or sideways should i say so we just place them one sideways it looks a tad weird why them ones are sideways like the textures and then ones aren't but it just makes more sense to make the majority upright because otherwise at the sides we'll have something that looks like this and that just defeats the object of making everything sideways so again this is what it should look like again i explained that part rather poorly so I will recap it so we, the first layer is eight white stained clay second layer is five logs three white stained clay six log two clay six log one clay one black wool and we got seven log one clay next row is six log one plank one clay and we got one log five planks two log and then the final row is of course one plank one log one plank and five logs Okie dokie, so the other side is the exact same, the right side is a mirror of this, so you can go around to the right side and start working on replicating this. So of course the first column is three white stained clay, one black wall, two white stained clay, two logs. The second one, we're going to build up one, two, three, using the white stained clay, one log, one plank, and then two logs. The next row, or next column, is one um, clay, four log, one plank. From this plank, we're then going to go one, two, three, four to the right, and then go up diagonal to the right on the end. Leave one block and place one right there. Then, of course, the rest of it is just logs. So fill it all in. And one thing to bear in mind, which I didn't do there, is the top row again, you want sideways logs just so you don't have the upwards texture, um, which looks kind of nasty. So again, we can just, whoops, replace these top ones with sideways logs. And the same applies for this part here. We can just make it sideways just for purposes um, for now. But we will be changing this up in a bit anyway, so it's nothing to worry about. Okay, so again, just for reference, this is what the right side should look like. If you want to, feel free to pause. And uh, we're going to move on to the back side of the head. Okie dokie. So the back side of the head. The first row is white stained clay. The second row is spruce logs. Now I'm going to do this row by row because it's just easier. So the third row is one plank, one log, one plank, one log, two plank. The next row is one plank, one log, two plank, two log. The next row is two log, one plank, two log, one plank. The next row is one plank, one log, one plank log two plank next row is two log one plank 
log, plank, log. And then the final row is log, plank, log, log, log. So four logs. And again, make sure all the logs at the uh, top row are sideways, just so we have that nice visual look. And again, that's what it should look like. So it's one layer of like skin, so one layer of eight white stained clay, and then the rest is simply logs and planks. All being spruce, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Okie dokie. So coming around to the top side of the head, this is where things are slightly more complicated. So what we're going to do, just for the purposes of now, is punch this row out, and uh, we're going to work from fresh. So we're going to work from the back and work our way forwards. So of course the back row we've got already, we've got one spruce, four logs, one plank, log, plank. The next row coming inwards towards the front, we've got the one here, we place two logs. Make sure all these ones are sideways as well, so like this, placing on the side of the block already there, hopefully you get that anyways. And then four planks. The next row is one plank, two log, one plank, two log. The next row is one log, two plank, two log, one plank. So what's it looking like so far? The next row is two log, one plank, one log, two plank. The next row is two plank, one log, three plank. The next row is one plank, two log, plank, two log. And then the final row, last but not least, is one plank, log, three plank, and one log. And once you've done that, it looks something like this. Again, that's an 8x8 eight eight square, uh, minus this front row here, which is, of course, the 3D effect from the front. Um, but yeah, that's what it should look like. So, once you've done that, you have theoretically finished the statue, but there is something missing. You may have or may not have noticed. We are missing the buns at the side of the head. She has short hair here. We want to add like the little buns at the side. So we're going to work on the left side first. And what we're going to do is come to the side, of course. We come to this spruce log here. And next to that, we place one spruce plank. Underneath that, we place one log. Underneath that, one plank. Next to this, so extending it one out, we place on the top row one log one plank, one log. So we currently have this like three by two part sticking out the side of the face, just to give you a bit of like props of where it is. It's two up and third block in from the right side. We're then from here gonna go down diagonal. So we come to the side, we go down diagonal to the left with one plank and this one towards us, the closer block is one log. So inner block, plank, outer block, log. The next block, so we place two spruce planks next to that. And then next to that, we place two more. So we're kind of making like a wheel, like a circular shape. So this block here, the one closest to the head on the third block. So as you can see, it's three wide. Third block here, we're going to place a spruce log. So from the side, it looks like this. From the front, it looks like this. Then we're going to start working our way back up again. So we go up diagonal to the left using two spruce planks. On top of that, on the left side, we have one log and then one plank. And on top of that, two logs. We're then going to work our way back towards this side. Whoops. By going up diagonal to the right with two planks. We're then going to place on this side one log and then one plank next to it and then two planks. And this gives us like a circular shape, as you can see. It's like the bun. So this is the front side. Again, just a recap. It's what the side should be looking like so far. And then the back side. The back side will finish one block away from the end. And of course, at the lowest point, it's one up. At the highest point, it's two up. So for the sides, the sides of this part, we're going to place a two by two of spruce logs. On the right side, we're going to go up one using spruce log and to the side one using spruce log. And the rest of it is simply spruce plank. Now, I know that's kind of complicated, but that is it done. So what we're going to do just for a finishing touch is get our brown carpet and we're going to place two here and two here and that's purely just to cover up the top of the logs and give you a visual uh, a nicer visual effect is what i meant to say there um i don't know what i said <laughs> but yeah that's the left side and as you can see just by backing up now you can see it looks a lot lot cooler 
um, and a lot more interesting and detailed. So what you can do if you want to is pause, figure out how to do it, and then replicate it on the other side is the exact same just mirrored. But I will be talking you guys for it nevertheless. So if you want to stick around for that, then you are more than welcome to do so. Okie dokie. So for the right side, that is the left one done. Right side, we're going to do the exact same. So we come to this spruce log here. Second, le uh, second column, this one here. Next to that, we're going to place one spruce plank. So on top of this spruce log here, one spruce plank. And next to that one spruce log underneath it we're going to place on this side one log this side one plank and this one one plank one log again that gives you the three by two shape and from this we're going to start working our way down to the right so the inner one is down diagonal one plank the outer one is one log then we got two planks and for this part the inner one is one log and then the outer one is one plank. And again, that's three wide, two thick. So we're going to start working our way back up again. So we go up diagonal. We've got two planks. Then the inner one is one log, outer one plank, then two logs. And then for the upper part, we're going to build a three by two of planks. And then this inner middle one is a sideways log. Once again, for this middle part here at the side, we're going to place a two by two on the right side. We're going to go up one and to the left one, and that's the logs. And then the rest of it is simply the planks. Now I will get our brown carpet again, cover these two up either side. And once you've done that, that is it. You have completed your Princess Leia statue. Now I know that the buns at the side of the hair are a real pain and are probably quite difficult to understand because it's really difficult to explain, as you may understand as well. But that's what it looks like, and I will give you like a uh, quick guide or tour of the uh, buns, just in case you didn't understand a word I said there, which is more than understandable. Um, but hopefully you get the vibe. And if you don't, definitely let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and give you some more personalized support if you need it. Um, you're more than welcome to ask for some, because as I know, it is difficult to maybe understand when we're working with non-standard dimensions. But anyways, apart from that, that is the statue complete. You have built yourself your Princess Leia from Tatooine or Tatooine, whatever you want to call it. And uh, of course, if you want to add some finishing touches, you could potentially add a blaster. I know I said that I wasn't going to add one, but we can add one anyways, because why not? So what you can do, grab some black wool. Also, you could grab a cobblestone slab and also the cobblestone wall and a lever and what you can do just go down to her left hand to the second row third block place black wall go up one and three forwards and on the end place one cobblestone wall and the two middle blocks you can place two slabs and then one lever underneath like so that gives you your very own little like blaster um, but if you don't want that feel free to remove it again that's just like a little add-on if you want uh, but yeah, apart from that, that's it. So again, hopefully you did enjoy. Definitely let me know down in the comments below any criticism or uh, any feedback you could for the tutorials because again, I'm always looking to improve the tutorials and uh, always trying to make them more accessible and un easy to understand, should I say. Um, so any constructive criticism is appreciated. But if you did enjoy, definitely consider leaving a like. Again, support is always really, really nice um but yeah anyways thank you for watching again if you haven't already checked out the luke skywalker statue then uh, definitely do that again i did the han solo from the force awakens so if you want to check that out as well there'll be a star wars playlist i'll link that in the description and also stick around for some more star wars statues comment down below which ones you want and uh, i'll try and get them out as soon as possible but anyways thank you for watching until next time my name's been tom Ogomi, and goodbye <laughs>